I like the beard. I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> I, I I have to have this or my chin looks weird. But yep. the rest okay. of it doesn't grow very much. So I just keep oh. this and that's all I got. <laughs> okay. I had a longer beard actually. Last week I just trimmed it off. Hey everybody, Kanala here, and I am joined by Madhu Basavaraj. I always pronounce your name wrong. Can you tell me how it's pronounced, sir? Yeah, it's Madhu Basavaraj. Oh, I was you close. That was pretty close. You call, call you Madhu. Okay, yeah. and uh, you are the producer on the new Kannada language film, Days of Borapura, right? Yes. It's coming out next week. The That's 27th. The 27th. Yes. Of April, yes. Now, is it only coming out in uh, Karnataka? In, uh... Uh, yes, as of now, yes. Only in Karnataka. And already I'm in talks with outside India. So I'll be getting an update shortly. So probably the next week, we can we plan releasing it outside India. And uh, do you know how far you'll go yet? You're not sure? We are keeping our fingers crossed mm -hmm. because it's an experimental and a content-based movie. So, and again, Canada audience have been supporting the content-based movies. So, we are expecting something good. Yeah, I'm like when the, I saw the trailers. The, so I didn't do reactions for the trailers. Yeah, um, but I did reaction for the promo song that you sent me that had like the character introduction. Yes. Now, that promo song had subtitles. The two trailers, I didn't have any English subtitles, so it was kind of hard for me to know what was going on, but I did get the idea of the different character in the character piece, that this is very exactly. much of a small town, and you're following these characters of, that are going on with the town. Like, uh, recently, when I reviewed uh, Renga Stalam, it was the same kind of thing, where the, you know, very much of a... I'm not saying the story is the same, but that the character driven it's a very character driven story you're you're following along with these uh with this town you're falling in love with the town more than an individual character now you are probably going to have a main character but uh it's really the collection of everybody involved that would be what makes it interesting and that's what i loved about Renga Stalam. and so that's what would be uh good about your your movie the movie itself, uh, the Borapura itself, is a village. So the story goes around in the village, and uh, the characters have been introduced in the trailer. And it is the voiceover that you listen to is from a uh, uh, director, Yograj Bhatt. Maybe you might have heard about him. So he's a big, big name yeah. in Canada. So he introduces the character in the trailer. And I will send you the link with the subtitle, the trailer with the subtitle. Okay, cool. So as you referred, yes, it revolves around the characters. So it is character driven and the village plays the mayor, uh, prominent role in the movie. Now, is this a real village or is it a fictional village? Uh, there is a real village, but not the story. Right. But I mean, there is a village called Borapura. Bora. Yes, yes. It's in Karnataka. So how did you get involved in the project? What brought you to the movie? Uh, see, I mean, I've been uh, very passionate about movies from a long time. And I got to meet the director who narrated the story. Uh, I mean, I like the story of Borapura, the, the concept and the story, which interested me. And I got involved, many of my friends, it is not only solely produced by me, but I do have a co-producer, uh, uh, Ajit Kumar. So he's uh, again another uh, major producer. And we have our friends involved and they have invested the movie. I mean, invested in the movie. So the story and the concept, the characterization that what you are looking into now and which is attracting everybody, that, is, that made me you know, get involved in this project. So it was the same reason why we would watch it. It's like... Yes, why exactly. you got into it. Well, exactly. it makes, makes exactly. perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm happy that at least whatever uh, the judgment what we made, uh, I mean, what 
uh, we decided to make the movie. So that is what is catching up people. So that is more interesting. All right. So we shifted views a little bit more stable now. Now, yeah. uh, as we can see behind your head, I have your I have the logo of the uh, the movie title above you, but you also have it on a poster there with yes. the uh, the cow animation. Now, yes. I liked uh, I liked the way you guys used animation. Was that something that you did later on in the decision, or was that early on that you wanted to have that kind of animation involved with the production? Uh, actually, it is both. I mean, we did not, did not have this concept earlier when we started the project during the story discussion or anything like that. But the animation came into picture uh, after the shoot. Uh, and why we are using the cow? I mean, we had a very good uh, discussion on this particular reason uh, in the press meet, previous press meet what we had with the press. Uh, why cow and why are you showing it in the back and all the stuff. Again, again, it is catching your eyes as well. So I'm again happy <laughs> that whatever we made uh, to <laughs> look different or uh, with the concept, it is catching up people. So the animation came on in a later part. Again, uh, cow, again, why cow? I'll have an answer for that. Uh, it is to show the innocence of people. No, people of the village, Borapura, are innocent. Right. So to show the innocence, we have used cow as a symbol for that. Yeah, and all of the animation of the cow that you see, not just like from behind you where it's from behind, but where the cow is kind of meandering or wandering around, it's very much of a, you know, reflects an innocent kind of uh, carefree, right. you know, right. carefree has no, it's just like, ah, oh, I'm here. Yeah, da -da, yes. you know and it does reflect the the tone of the story very well through that animation where yes. anybody could see that and be like oh this is going to be lighthearted this is going to be about you know the people it's not going to have some huge science fiction overtone you know it's uh just going to be a nice exactly. small character piece um, exactly exactly it, so there is innocence there is comedy there is lighthearted there is emotion so there is love there is extramarital uh, uh, relationship. So all this mixed put together is Borapra. Nice. I like it. It also reminded me of, uh, even though this is a different movie in tone, but The Pink Panther. You know, the original Peter Sellers movies, he had, they had the animation of The Pink Panther. Uh, that went through all of the opening credits and part of the promotion, but wasn't exactly in the movie. You know, the Pink Panther in the movie was the diamond. That was the Pink Panther. And so right. you're kind of doing this a similar thing in that the cow is not, there's not going to be an animated cow in the movie, but you're using it and kind of set up the tone of what's going on. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I haven't seen someone do something like that in a while. So it was refreshing. I liked that. Yes, thank you. And again, rightly said, uh, it is not inspired from Pink Panther, but yes, it is again. Uh, yeah, no. It, it was just a thought, and we are not using it in the movie. It doesn't appear anywhere in the movie. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was inspired by Pink Panther. It just reminded yeah. me of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the I movies mean, I, are totally yeah. different. You know, Pink Panther yes. is a slapstick comedy. This is more of a character drama with some humor yeah. in it. Yes. Um, how long did it take for the pre-production? Like, how long were you guys writing it, and uh, did it pretty much come to you ready-made? Like, how long before you started shooting? Uh, pre-production, we almost spent around one one year, approximately. And even before that, uh, actually, the director uh, was already on it. He was already working on the script. But once we got involved and the production team got involved, it took one year for us to you know, start, start the movie. To start so, the shooting. So the director and the writer has been on it for a while. Yes, yes. Wow. They were working on their script, yeah. They, they almost spent around two years on, on this project. Very nice. And how long was the shoot? Shoot, uh, we have actually shot it for 35 days in three schedules and including around 10 days of night shoot. I like night shots. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I, I'm very, uh, there's, 
I don't know what it is, but night shots and rain. I think those two okay. are the most interesting on film, maybe because of the, I guess, the difficulty of lighting. So I find it, uh, nice. it's more interesting to see how someone pulls off. Because there's a lot of different ways you can pull off both shots. So I, I'd want to see how you guys do the night shots. I would like to see that. <laughs> so maybe... Maybe I'm your movie walk. will come to the U.S. and then I can see your night shots. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. I mean, you, I, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll love the night shots. Whatever we have done, the cameraman uh, Sarvanan, he has done an excellent job. Well, I've especially seen... night, night shots. Well, there was some great cinematography in the uh, trailers. I specific, yes. I specifically liked the one shot of the guy standing underneath the bridge, and you had the mineral rich green water coming yes. through. That was yes. a beautifully framed. I love that shot. I thought it was great. So I, I think you got the right guy for your cinematographer. Yes, yes. Cinematography has come out excellent. That is, You're left out. Yeah, that is one of the things that has impressed me about a lot of Indian films that I've seen. Even it doesn't matter what budget it is, they always seem to find a really good cinematographer. Like yeah, we were lucky enough. We are one of the lucky enough uh, that we got got in the work. Yeah, because a lot of the lower budget movies in the U.S., it's like once you hit a certain level, you don't get cinematographers anymore. <laughs> there's like, <Okay. laughs> there's like there's like no cinematography going on in the lower budgets. So it's nice to see that it doesn't matter. You have you guys have a lot of good cinematographers in India. Um, yes, and I love that. I love that. So. That's great. Now, are you worried about your release on the 27th going up against Avengers Infinity War? Because that's... Now, is it going to be... I know it's a weird question, but it, would it be competition in Karnataka? I mean, uh, because it is a different genre of movie, so we are not exactly worried about it. But definitely the movie watchers, I mean, the Avengers watchers will not watch uh, these kind of movies. That, that's what I, I feel. But once if they get to know that this is a very good content movie, then definitely they will come by. But I, again, Avengers is a different genre and it is a different... Right. So you're, kind of you're, you're saying that the people that would be drawn to the film initially are going to be the ones that probably wouldn't watch Infinity War anyway. Exactly. And then when word of mouth gets out, then everybody, after they've gotten through their Infinity War thing, comes back to this. Like exactly. The next exactly. week. Okay, I could totally see that. I would be. Exactly. I would probably be one of the people that would go and see both. You know. I, okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah, you, you, yeah. It might happen because if people don't get to see Avengers on the first day, so even we will be playing in the same theater, so they might turn towards us. Yeah. That is again the catch. So if Infinity War is sold out, just go okay. to the next screen room and watch Days exactly. of Bopor. Exactly. exactly. It's right okay. there. You know what to do. You're down yes. in you're down there anyway. You might as well just go to the next one. I'm yes. so, I'm selling it for you. <laughs> uh, I like it. Now if it uh if it ends up getting a wide release a week or two later, uh and you'll have to keep me informed on that so I can post about it. Um, sure. That way, if we know, I can put it up on my social media stuff. So if you're if you're watching this, if you want the English subtitled tra uh, trailers, I'll post them on my Facebook and Twitter. And then when we get word about whether or not you're getting a more wide release, we'll we'll post that on Facebook and Twitter as well. So keep okay. an eye out for those and future right. information. Uh, how did you cast the film? Where did where did the the actors come from? Where you, did you have a big casting call and you had to whittle it down, or did you know kind of who you wanted to begin with? Actually, again, it is everything. Everything mixed together. Whatever you you told me, <laughs> like <laughs> we had a, a casting call and uh, we did get few uh, characters from the casting call, but not as much as we expected. And uh, yeah, we found people around us and we had uh, contacts and our own people whom we knew. 
who are from again they are all from the theater background that is they all are from drama they have acted in a uh, few movies so these kind of people we got in for and again we have about 40 plus characters in the movie yeah 40 characters yeah plus. you have a lot of characters yes but it they did i did see a lot of people that looked like they were from stage you know theater yes, they're on stage yes most of them most of them 90% of them are from stage yeah and i love that um, yes i love the way that stage actors their presence that they have when they're on film yes you know some of the greatest yes. and and a lot of them have really good voices because they have Correct. to project all the time when they're on stage and then when you get them yes. on film they don't need to but they still yeah. have that gravitas in their voice. Yes. Um, yes. So I like that. You know like uh Ian McKellen and um he's one of the more famous ones but Patrick Stewart, you know they have that great voice being on yes. stage for so long. Um, okay. It's cool that most of your actors are from stage. It means you're going to yes. have some uh some good projection. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, to mention another point, there is a drama inside the movie. So there is a drama practice that which goes on inside ah. the movie. So it would make the life easier for the artist and also for the director that if you get the stage artist, they know how to carry the stage performance. So from the drama rehearsals, we go to the drama on stage. So this is a journey which goes in the movie. Oh nice. So that that again helps. Now the the secondary title that's like right behind your head underneath it yes. says uh, impossible. Is that say mission impossible? Yes. In Canada we are using it as mission. It's not mission. It okay. is missing. Mission. So what it uh, means in canada is machine machine means you know a machine which works uh huh so, so it's a machine impossible machine yes exactly machine impossible so what machine comes to the village is the secret as of now gotcha so okay so it's a machine which comes inside the village and again the journey starts from there and there you get the drama involved and what happens So whether the machine is possible or impossible, we have to see it on screen. Ah, you intrigued me. That caught my yeah. eye. Okay, <laughs> I see what you did there. I like that. That's interesting. So when, um, how long did you guys spend on post production? Since we talked about pre and and normal. Yeah, post production it almost took like uh, six to eight months for us because every detail was worked on. So that is the reason it took a little longer time for us. Mm -hmm. We had the uh, editing done, dubbing done, re-recording, and we had a voice change for one of our song. We need to talk about the music also. So yeah, you that... like the song and you have started uh, uh, humming our bum song, bum 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 bum. Yeah, bum, that. Oh man, when when I did my trailer, when I did my reaction for it. I think yes. I said it in there too. I was like this is going to get stuck in my head. Yes. Like it's uh and by the end of the the promo I was going bomb bomb bomb. <laughs> it's exactly. like it does. It's a but it also reflects the tone of the characters, you know, just like the cow, very much yes. of a meandering uh devil may cry kind of just doesn't really, you know, just wandering, just having a good time kind of feel to the whole thing. And uh I think that song was probably, you know, perfectly placed along with the art yes. to get yes. that feel that you guys were looking for. Yeah, all the credit has to go to our music director. His name is Vivek Chakravarty. So he has done a good job. So he's kept all the songs humming. So hope people will start liking it once the movie releases. Yeah, with that one song that doing did catch my attention just because it got stuck in my head and i ended up thinking about that song all day after i did that one you know i would okay. be just like wandering i don't know i probably at work or something going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like ah <I> guess. <laughs> so is there anything else that you would like to tell the people cuz that was pretty much most of the questions i had about the movie i was more curious of the kind of character piece that you guys were doing 
Uh, is there anything else you would like to tell the people? Sir, again, we have discussed most of it, and uh, I want people to watch the movie and enjoy it, and then come up with your comments, whether you liked it, don't like it, what you liked it, what you did not like. Because this, we have made it out of passion. It's not for a commercial purpose. At the end of the day, yes, we even if we want to make a name out of this movie. So, and I have my uh, artist, one of the artists here, but he's not good at English, but I want him to appear here and say Yeah, hi yeah, to. bring him on. Hi, sir. Hey, how's it going? So he's a uh, one of the artists. I'm yeah, he's uh, his name is Prashant. He's playing the character of Sangha. Ah, yes. The first character that gets introduced. Yes. So he's the one. Yes. So he looks very different here. Because yeah, you you do. I see the eyes now, but the yeah. <laughs> You look yeah. more cleaned up. One hotel list up for Kurgi Sigililan the Bailey hit the Pampon Harkon is an army than eh? For more details, contact all Borapura aunties and Aji. Yeah, he just got it done yesterday. So I was telling him people will not recognize you after the movie will re uh, movie get released. So, yeah, so you he need. He needs to get exactly really messy. Yeah. He so would need exactly. to get dirty and messy for anybody to know yes. who he was. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for being in the movie. And everybody, if you are in, you know, you can't see Avengers Infinity War, go and check out the next screen room. Go see Days of Boapora. I would also like to know your thoughts on it since I'm not going to be able to see it. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and let Madhu know as well. Comment below and let us know your thoughts on it. I will be sharing all that stuff on social media when I get it, so... Go and contact me. Links to everything is in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.